Investors shunned firearms companies after a string of mass shootings in the United States, pressuring sporting goods conglomerates to separate outdoor wares for, say, camping, golf, or croquet from albatross ammo businesses. Vista Outdoor's attempt to follow suit is now wedged between a Czech deal partner drawing national security concerns and a former insider. Being boxed out of markets leaves small caliber military suppliers to a scrappy fate. Investors have cut firearm exposure while buyout shops are leery, leaving few buyers for gun makers. That's left unusual suspects to step in, like Czechoslovak Group, which in 2023 struck a $1.9 billion deal for Vista's gum business, home to 208-year-old ammo brand Remington. International inquirers are shrinking the small arms industry. CSG, for instance, bought 70% of Italy's Fiocchi Munizioni in 2022. Fiocchi, Remington, and Winchester owner Olin dominate the manufacture of primers, bullets, explosive element, produced in only half a dozen American plants. And Remington and Winchester vie for the contract to run the Lake City Army Ammunition Plant, which supplies the military. That's raising eyebrows. Politicians like Senator J.D. Vance are concerned about CSG's deal. The Committee on Foreign Investments in the United States is probing. The company's recently refiled with the interagency panel to allow it more time. These issues have drawn another unusual bidder, former Vista director Mark Gottfriedson, whose MNC Capital made a hostile offer for the whole company. Its recently bumped bid is more valuable. CSG's proposal promises cash spoils of around $15.50 per share and leaves investors owning a subscale outdoor business. MNC's offer gets some $37.50 per share, cash, and a way out. Shareholders could use the boost. Vista, which derives around half its revenue from its gum business, has seen its enterprise value fall from around 10 times expected EBITDA in early 2016 to just over four times in 2022, according to LSEG, just before announcing its split. The pressure is now on ahead of a May 16th shareholder vote. Whatever the outcome, that Remington's fate is hostage to this unusual battle indicates a broader problem. The small arms industry, crucial to military and security agencies, is a capital market's backwater. This deal might have attracted an oddball bidding war. When it comes to supplying bullets for real wars, the industry could use more attention.